Let's have a look at the dimensioning tools on the Greatec Power Pack for Revit. In Revit, when you want to place dimensions, you can simply go to the Annotate tab, select the dimension style which you wish to choose, you can all justify which face of the wall you want to select, pick individual references, entire walls, within the options you can select the openings, insetting walls or grids. So if I select this wall down here, you'll see once I've placed it, I now have a run of dimensions which include all walls that are intersecting. If I do the same again on this vertical wall here, you'll see once I select the actual run, it doesn't include this horizontal wall here, which isn't connected to the vertical. So to do this, I can do a detailed line across the view, crossing the elements that I want to place a dimension on. I'm simply going to select the line, go to my tools on the ribbon and select quick dimensions. You'll see here it's now replaced the line with a dimension on the screen. In Revit, if you have some dimensions that are not part of continuous room, like the ones shown on the screen, I can simply select the dimensions which I wish to join. I can then go to our tools on the Great Tech Power Pack. I can select the join dimensions and they will now join them together. This could also be done by selecting the join dimension lines here on the ribbon, then selecting the dimensions you wish to join and then selecting the finish button on the options bar. And you'll see it's now joined all those run of dimensions together for me. We also have the option to alter dimension elements with inside Revit. If I select the configuration, in this dialog box it allows me to select the dimension styles which I've set up inside my project. I can also change the distance between the dimension lines when placed on the screen. I can generate overall dimensions, grid lines, external geometry, structural and openings. If I untick these elements, it won't include these when I do my auto dimension. I can also set the dimension style for my quick dimensions and my join dimensions as well. So if I select my auto dimension, I'm going to select the wall. I'm going to select the position where I want to start and it's placed a run of dimensions in for me. 